G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday of install. Now this week we've got something pretty special, I say that every week, but you know we do. So, if you can't see, old trusty Hilux, can't break him. We're going to find out later if we can break it. Bash plates, mm, so underbody protection plates. So we've done a full range, three plate underbody protection plate. Same as the last ones, mild steel, which you already probably know. Three mil mild steel is an everyday touring powder coated, picked in green with a nice black face plate. We've also got the other three plates there. We also do a Mad Max 4mm stainless steel version, which is basically, if you're like me, you just trash absolutely everything and you need to protect it. Well, here it is, it needs to be protected. So, obviously the next thing, bit of Caterpillar as always. L, beer for me, beer for you, for the cameraman. There's one for the installer, one for the cameraman. Cheers, big ears. Oh. Mm. Now this week, such a great drop. We're on the ballistics again this week. I missed these while I was in New Zealand. So I really did miss them, look at this. Ooh, the old, uh, how was it, Loha Pale Ale. Now, quick story on these. I didn't think they were that potent, except old um, Colin from Accounts, a big boy Colin, he's not actually from Accounts, he does our programming and stuff. Anyways, he um, hit us up, we're in New Zealand. Yo, I'm at Ballistic, what's the best beer to drink? I'm like, Loha Pale Ale, get into a big boy. Six schooners later, he's passed out, blackout drunk, and he doesn't remember a thing, and he made absolute d himself. It was so bloody good. <laughs> so very, very simple install, this one. It's like, if you're on your back, it's probably 10 minutes. Hoist, probably the same, but not even that, it's pretty easy. Problem I've got here is, I pulled these off, and I scanned them like four months ago, I reckon. Maybe even longer, and anyways, We've had new laser come in there, new presses, a whole heap of things going in the workshop, rearranging. I don't actually know what happened to the factory bash plate, so I can't show you how to take them off, I am sorry. But I'll show you what happens, right? So, up here you've got one here, one here, to bolt the factory on. Then you've got it down here, down here, right? Four bolts, and the factory one's off, and I think there was one more here, there, there, and it slipped in here. So there's like six bolts, and the factory one's out of your way. So it's not, it's not really difficult. It's a black plate that runs back. Strip them off, very simple. Sorry I can't show you because I made a boo-boo. Now, to put these ones on, we'll supply your new high tensile bolts, 8.8s. Nice dually zinc plated. Hey, Molly, what are you doing, babe? So, under here and here where you pulled your original bolts out, you wanna thread these on a bit. They get a few turns up there. Then you wanna get two more bolts. Trav here, these are M8s by the way. And as you can see here, we've got these slots facing back this way. So this is how the bash plate's gonna go on. Dink! I've actually remembered one more thing I didn't do. Because I'm not lying on the ground, it makes it a bit harder. So it's a 12 mil, 12 mil spanner, I mean 12 mil socket for these bolts. I wanna get this one. I'm actually seriously fanging to get these on and take this out for a test jump. <laughs> We've already done some testing, but we're going to go out and do one for you guys. So, 12 mil. I'll put the socket on so I can easily get it back up. So you want to go in. Slots facing forward. And we just want to go. I'm only human, all right? Don't roast me too hard in the comments. But, it turns out, I picked the two wrong holes to begin with. And this is the importance of actually um, pulling your factory plates off because you wouldn't have made that mistake. So here it is actually right there and there, which makes a lot more sense now. So there's one there, there's one here. The one up. Look at that, that's bloody marvellous. Then again, what I was saying was, before I messed all that up, you just pull these slots on you can see now, it's held up by the sluts. Get my bolt. Now up into this one here, you push that up. You have a little looky, you line him up, and you bloody put him in there. Put that one in there as well. Bloody marvellous. Look at that, it already looks awesome. Yep. Pretty happy. So next step, I'm just gonna put a heap of bolts in my pocket. 
because the next few steps get a bit, can't remember them very well, <laughs> to be honest. So we're going to pick this plate up, right? This beautiful one, got this part here. So this part here goes forward. And we're going to, he sluts, yeah, I thought that. So he sluts, actually sluts into the front one. <clears throat> Don't know why I put these bolts in, ignore them bolts I put in. You better cut that bit out, Al. They confuse people. So we push that one into that one. And then at the back here, you'll see, got ourselves, oh, got a start in, there we go. Got ourselves some, already cut these nuts in the chassis to use. Now, if you want, at this point, you can go ahead and tighten some stuff up, but I like leaving it to the end. Just makes it easier. So we've also got two bolts here. So come around here, El, to even get in there. There's two points here that bolt up. Now, because it's loose, you're just going to have to push it up and it should be pretty close. It's sitting on top of each other, actually. And line it up. This just gives it that little bit more strength. And you'll notice, you notice all the angles and stuff in our bash plates, how we cut things away. A lot of our bolts, when we finish, you'll see all the bolts are hidden down below folds. They're tucked away under things. They're always out of the way. And that's to give them added protection so you can actually get bolts off easy if you ever need to. All the folds and different angles we do, the way we fold things and design things to give it extra strength. So instead of having a big flat plate there that a lot of, a lot of places you see are doing, that offers no strength. It's just flopping around. All these extra folds and ribs and welder points and everything about give this thing ultimate strength. Like, I'm not gonna start saying how much strength, but I mean a lot. Like, it's pretty good. As you see, I bash the other ones around. We made some revisions on the other ones that we had and it makes a huge difference. We'll get the other one. Lucky last. So this one. Ah, two slot nuts. Cut the bolts, you need them too. Plus the other two bolts you got left over. Rightio, so I need to get them bolts out, which are now in the wrong pocket. On the head. Now, this is where working on the ground is far better for this. Yes, yeah, so this is where, when you're working on the ground, it's a lot easier to hold these up and get in position. But I'm a big boy, I'll work it out. <laughs> Can let that rest for a minute. So now that's where we're gonna get the slot. Now this is the important part here. So you need to Lift that up, and you'll see we go in here, we've got a hole either side of these two, so. We'll line that thread up with that hole, pick him up, and then we wanna just line it all up, keep it lined up, and start that thread. Get him in there, beautiful. Get the last one. See, it's a nice easy install to be honest. It's not really anything technical or tricky on these installs. Now you may also notice today, not wearing a party shirt. Now, there's no party shirt because I've realized that we've got a lot of new merch in lately and I haven't really been repping it. So I'm gonna start repping the merch again. So obviously hat, I've always got the hat. Green tees, staple AS color tees, absolutely magic. Bit of black pirate camco, big black skull on the back. I don't even know what we're selling them for to be honest, but we've got them online. Get around at Legends, it'll be good, cool to see everyone in the merch. So we're selling a bit of merch now. And for us, the merch isn't about making money, we're just trying to get merch out there to have people in the merch and help build the brand, which makes huge difference. We are gonna do sticker kits soon. Everyone's been asking about sticker kits. We're doing windscreen, Ben's got a whole heap of stuff coming out. So we're gonna have windscreen, I mean, we're gonna have sticker kits, a whole bunch of other cool stuff coming out. So that's gonna be really fucking cool, I tell you, really cool. <laughs> okay, so let's get it finished. 12 mil socket, rattle gun. Might as well just send the extension. Straight up here. Now remember number one rule, don't rattle anything up until you've just got it up finger tight. So pull everything up. So you want everything to be sitting in a very nice location before you, oh, went a bit hard on that one. Before you go to town, because otherwise, if you go to town, you might, um, you might not be able to do it up, probably do up 
all on the pierce and it would be terrible. Now these ones at the back, you have to put your fingers in here, but be careful. Do it with a socket first, so get up finger tight. Because if they do spin, and you've got a rattle gun on it, it will bust your finger up and it will hurt. And then, give us some bunty. They're normally not too bad, those slot nuts. Oh. So noisy. Should put earplugs in. Oh yeah. Ha! That easy legends of oh, Caterpillar doing us a solid. Anyways, that easy legends. Right on legends, that's a wrap on this one. If you like this content, you know what to do, like, subscribe, hit the bell button, leave a comment down below. There's going to be links in the description below. It's going to take you straight over the webpage. All the info is on there. We're going to have everything there. Make sure you head over to our social media, Instagram, Facebook. Hit all that up as well. Give it a like and a follow. That'll be really, really appreciated. Thanks again for your support, Legends. We'll see you next week. Yoo!